Hello everyone, welcome to Art Stories in Rome with Fede Art. I'm Federica and today I would like to talk to you about the portrait of Pope Innocent X. Painted by the Spanish painter Diego Velázquez, considered an absolutely masterpiece of 17th century portraiture and the most important work in the collection at the Doria Panfili Gallery. Palazzo Doria Panfili in the center of Rome is one of the most extraordinary private noble residences in the city. The descendants of Doria Panfili family still live there among wonderful masterpieces of our history. Let's begin. Diego Velázquez is one of the most important European painters and one of the greatest representatives of Baroque. His works have been a source of inspiration for artists who have followed him throughout the centuries. In 1623, Velázquez became the favorite artist of Philip IV, King of Spain, and he made several portraits of nobles and royalty. In 1649, Velázquez arrived in Rome. On behalf of his king, who, after the Peace of Westphalia in 1648, hastened to strengthen his diplomatic networks to regain his alliance with the new Doria Pamphili family pope, successor of the pro-French Pope Urban VIII. Pope Innocent X was a great patron, a friend of Bernini and Borromini, and a cultural protagonist of Baroque Rome. The pope was known for his difficult character and his unattractive appearance. When he met Velázquez and he saw his works, he immediately commissioned him to paint his portraits. Velázquez decided to portray the Pope with great realism, not only physically, but above all psychologically. Innocence the Ten is shown sitting on the pontifical armchair with the back upholstered in red and decorated with two large carved and gilded knobs. The Pope's face is turned to the right, but his gaze is pointed towards the observer. He rests his hands on the armrest of the armchair and with his left hand holds a sheet of paper with Velázquez's dedication. His eyes have a strong and intense expression. His lips are tightened firmly. He looks despotic and restless, and his posture expresses great confidence and self-awareness. The colors of the composition are basically two, red and white, with an extraordinary series of variations. Velázquez used a painting technique very reminiscent of Titian's. Fast, dense brush strokes full of color capable of rendering the consistency of the material. There is an incredible contrast between the sacredness of the pose and the official dressing and the uncomfortable expression of the pose who seems to be unable to stand still any longer. In his portrait of Innocence the Ten, Diego Velázquez manages to capture the invisible behind the visible. That is to say, he succeeds in rendering the psychological dimension of the Pope without subjection to such an authoritative personality. Velázquez breaks with the custom painting wrapped in immobile spirituality. When the Pope saw the finished painting, he was pleased and at the same time disturbed. He not only recognizes physical features, but also all the shadows of his character. The chronicles of the time report that he exclaimed out loud, too true, realizing the great mastery of the painter in reproducing not only the physical truth, but also the inner truth. The painting appealed to Innocence the Ten and also to his contemporaries as many ancient copies of the masterpiece prove. An ancient English guidebook reports that Sir Joshua Reynolds called the painting as the finest picture in Rome, while the French historian Hippolyte Tain considered it the masterpiece among all portraits and said that once seen, it is impossible to forget it. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the Art Community. Share this video with your friends. See you next time for another art adventure. Take care.